Hey, y'all, it's Brad Allen, CEO of The Art of Real Estate, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of one of the coolest cities in all of South Carolina. And if you can't tell from what's behind me, we're in Columbia. Columbia was first founded in 1786 when the General Assembly moved it from Charleston here to Columbia. But it actually goes way back. It goes about 100 years previous when this actually used to be called the Congaree Frontiers, which was the navigational system for all of the Santee River Basin. So we've been here for a while, but look where we've come to today, where we have five major university and colleges. On top of that, we've got the largest military training reservation in the country, east of the Mississippi, Fort Jackson. So most likely, if you've seen somebody in the Army, they've come right here through Columbia. And lastly, we've got all of the governments, the state, federal, and local governments that call Columbia home. This is one of the biggest move to destinations in all of the country right now. So as Columbia continues to grow, I have a feeling that's why you're watching this video. So I'm gonna take you on a tour today and show you why I love Columbia and why I've called it home for the last 20 years. So the cool thing about the downtown city of Columbia is it's actually got about five different shopping and dining districts that are all unique into themselves. So right now we're in the Vista, which is the old commercial warehouse district for the city of Columbia, which has been revitalized into an incredible arts district. And it's got some of the best restaurants and shopping in Columbia, like Blue Marlin, Motor Supply, Colas, just to name a few. You've got Main Street, which What's a city without a solid Main Street? It has been revitalized since 2002 when the city partnership was formed to bring in venues and events to really bring out the vibrancy of this district. As you can imagine, we've got awesome things like Soda City Markets, which take up four city blocks every Saturday morning to get local artesian crafts, foods, and fun. But you've also got great eateries like Bourbon, Pulse Chop House, Hendrix, and if you're looking just for a bites and sights and drinks kind of thing, you've also got Market on Main where you can just go and relax. Then you've got the old village of Five Points, which is really where a lot of the college students go to hang out when they're not in school. You've got Polly's Front Porch, which is a great place for a pimento cheeseburger, followed by Home Team Barbecue, and then a little bit fine dining at Mr. Friendly's. Then right up the road, you've got the Divine District, which is awesome and incredible and ever emerging as well. You've got cool little spots like Craft and Draft when you're looking for your craft beer needs, the old staples of Cantina 76 and Zaz Pizza, as well as a bunch of different local mom and pops like Cinnamon Roll Deli. Just down the road, you've also got Forest Drive, which is just near to the city of Columbia, but still considered downtown. And that is where you're gonna find some of the best grocery stores in all of downtown, with Trader Joe's, Publix, Lowe's Foods, and Fresh Market. The cool part about Forest Drive is it's a neighborhood in and of itself. So you've got places like Tombow Grill and Pasca Fresca and Taza and all these nice eateries that are local to our market. Finally rounding out, you've got North Main Street, which is re-emerging in the Cottontown District with Cottontown Brew Labs and Enda Coffee. So the cool part about the city of Columbia is you can go out every night of the week, be in a different district, eat at a different place, have different vibes, but yet still be in one of the coolest cities in all of South Carolina. One of the key differentiators of downtown Columbia is its epicenter of higher education. I'm right now standing on one of the most iconic college parks in all of the country. It's called the Horseshoe of the University of South Carolina. Not only do we have the University of South Carolina and their 30,000 students, but we also have Benedict College, Columbia College, Allen University, and Columbia International University. So as you can imagine, when fall rolls around, our population density swells, football games start up, nightlife starts kicking off, and the city changes and morphs into this vibrant hotspot of education, life, and fun. All right, guys, so let's talk housing in the city of Columbia, especially downtown. What most people think of when they hear of a downtown area and the state's largest city is condos and high rises and all that. And while we have a few of those, we don't have a whole lot of condos. What we have are planned developments and planned neighborhoods within inside the city. A lot of people don't know that the city of Columbia is one of the first planned cities on a grid system. So once you get out of the city center of those older historic homes, you actually won't find too many. Finding new construction is gonna be a little bit harder to do. We do have it. There's little pockets of neighborhoods here and there inside the city of Columbia, but mainly you're gonna find houses that are, you know, from teardowns or houses that burn where they go back and build new construction. So if you're looking for new construction, it can be found. It's just gonna be a little bit more expensive. But if you like older houses or houses with charm, like I like to call it, the city of Columbia is gonna be perfect for you because the one thing this city has is houses well-built and houses with charm. I hope you liked watching this video as much as we liked making it. 
and hopefully you fell in love with downtown Columbia. If you have any questions or comments, DM us. We're happy to get back to you with it. And lastly, hit the little subscribe button down below for us. We would love to make sure that our content gets in your inbox. And lastly, if we can be your realtor or resource when it comes to buying and selling property in the great state of South Carolina, we'd love to do so.